Fluorine-19 is an attractive nucleus for analysis by NMR spectroscopy. Like proton, fluorine-19 has a spin of one-half. Fluorine-19 is the only naturally occurring isotope of fluorine, and its receptivity is similar to that of the proton. Although an NMR spectrometer can be tuned to the frequency of fluorine-19, the chemical shifts are not very diagnostic. However, the fluorine signal is affected by coupling with proton resonances, and we see this in the case of fluoroacetone, in which the fluorine-19 resonance is coupled with the five other protons in this structure, so that this is a triplet of quartets. The triplet results from a two-bond coupling with the methylene protons on the same carbon that is bonded to the fluorine. And then the quartet is a longer range four-bond coupling between fluorine and the methyl group on the opposite side of the carbonyl. We also observe exactly the same coupling constants in a regular proton NMR spectrum. So we see the two-bond coupling of the protons with fluorine-19 with a larger 48 hertz coupling along with the smaller coupling of the methyl group with the more distant fluorine. The carbon-13 resonances will also be affected by coupling with fluorine-19. The carbonyl carbon of fluoroacetone is affected by a two-bond coupling the carbon to which the fluorine is attached has a larger one-bond coupling and is also deshielded by the electronegative fluorine so that the chemical shift is approximately 85 parts per million. And then the methyl group on the other side of the carbonyl from the fluorine appears as a singlet. It probably actually does have a very small coupling constant, but in this spectrum, it cannot be observed. For fluorobenzene, the fluorine-19 spectrum is a triplet of triplets. This is consistent with fluorine-19 having a larger three-bond coupling with the orthoprotons and then smaller four-bond couplings with the metaprotons. In the proton spectrum for fluorobenzene, the different spin one-half fluorine nucleus affects the couplings of three chemically non-equivalent proton resonances. The only one that I can identify with confidence is the one hydrogen triplet of triplets for the para proton. I don't have a great deal of confidence among the remaining two hydrogen multiplets, which one is the meta and which one is the ortho resonance. However, in the carbon-13 NMR, the magnitude of the fluorine carbon coupling constant is directly associated with the number of bonds between carbon-13 and fluorine. So with the large coupling constant, we can say with confidence that the carbon resonance in the 160 part per million range is directly attached to carbon. That is also consistent with the electronegative fluorine deshielding the chemical shift of that carbon. 
And then we can assign the ortho, meta, and para carbons based on the magnitude of the coupling constants. So the second largest coupling constant is consistent with the ortho carbons. The third largest coupling constant is consistent with the meta carbons. And then the carbon with the smallest coupling constant is the para carbon. If we wish to, we can link the carbon-13 assignments with specific proton resonances by using a proton carbon-13 HMQC spectrum. The excellent characteristics of fluorine-19 for NMR spectroscopy means that we can quantitatively measure how much fluorine is in a compound. So we can explore the Mosier esters and amides to measure the stereochemical ratio using fluorine NMR as a complement to proton NMR. There is also a conformational model that has been proposed in which the chemical shift of the trifluoromethyl group is related to the configuration of the nearest chiral center. This model seems to be internally consistent, but has not been widely used.